All right, we are live. It's so good to see you. We are back. Happy Easter. Happy Resurrection. He is risen. We're going to do Bible Jeopardy, the Resurrection Edition. Let's go. <laughs> All right. What's going on, everybody? Blessings to you. We are so grateful for you to be in the building. Listen, we was live last night and had like 100 people in here. As soon as we start talking about pagan stuff and anything controversial, everybody want to jump in there and everything. But today we're going to have some fun. All right. So today I got a panel. It is still Women's History Month. It is also Easter. It is also Resurrection. Uh, so whatever you want to call it, Easter Resurrection, we or Pascha, Pesach, we're going to roll with it today. Um, so I pray that you all have had a wonderful Easter. So today we're going to entertain you a little bit and we're going to sit back and we're going to let the ladies take charge again. Last week we had a phenomenal time. And last week, my sister, Almany the Graves came back. She was losing all the way in the first round, came all the way back in the second round and took it. So it doesn't matter how, what your score is at the end of the first round. As the Bible would say, if I could be prophetic a little bit, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Y'all know how it goes. So if you're in here already and everything and you're early, go ahead and shout us out let us know that you are here go ahead and share this we're gonna have some fun but the only rule is is don't be putting the answers in the chat because i love these ladies but i don't trust all of them and they might have a little device trying to check the answers to see if somebody puts the answers in the chat and so we don't want y'all giving the answers away all right um, so again, we are so grateful to be here. I had a wonderful Easter Resurrection Sunday, and I pray that you all have as well. Hopefully by now, everybody has finished eating and you are back inside your homes and chilling. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started on tonight. So let me introduce you to this lovely panel full of ladies. First, we got a newbie to the team. All right. She's taking her first class with Greater Works just this week on our purpose, power and proof of the resurrection. And she saw us last week and she was like, look, I want to get down with the get down. I want to get on the panel. So I said, wait a minute. I don't know you like that. I said, we got to talk this week and trying to figure out things and, you know, just make sure you good peoples and everything. And I talked and we just kind of clicked all of a sudden. So bring to the stage. Here is my sister, Gianna. Gianna, how you doing, sis? I'm doing well, and you, Kevin. Thank you Good. for that introduction. Now, being up here on the panel and not in the audience, how does it feel? Um, it feels the same. I feel at home. You're so kind. Okay, okay, because you was mighty confident last week. You was talking big trash in the chat. Big <laughs> say that seven times fast. You was talking big trash in the chat. So are you still feeling as confident now that you know who your competition is today? Yes, I am. Okay. Ooh, okay. Throw down the gauntlet. So tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, you know, introduce yourself to the people. Hey, I'm Tiana. I'm from Durham, North Carolina. I love the Lord and I love his word. So let's get it. All right. Good stuff now. So if, if she says she loved the Lord and she loved his word, so if she started getting answers wrong, we're going to call her out tonight. All right, y'all. So we're going to have fun. All right. Now, one of my absolute favorite students, she's in class and she shows out all the time. She be trying to answer all the questions. Then sometimes she act like she don't know the answers to all the questions. But whatever it is, we always going to have a good time when my friend Dejanine is in the class. What's going on, sis? Nothing. Hi. Yeah. Yes. And she's the only other person that tries to compete with my bookcase uh, when we get on the uh, when we get live on on Zoom and everything. So she's got a nice bookcase. But anyway, Dejanine, I know you, but tell you tell the people a little bit about yourself tonight. Uh, my name's Dejanine. People usually call me Janae. I am a retired social media expert. Okay. And, um, I like to, uh, I don't know. I like to read and all that other good stuff. I'm a mom of eight. Uh, Gana whoa, 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 whoa. I, like, we, we got ladies with babies tonight. Y'all ovaries have been working overtime. Like, my no, God. These grown folks. These are grown folks. I have grown and babies. So, yeah. Eight. I did not know that now. Yeah, I got <laughs> the majors, the minors, and the little leagues. My majors <laughs> is 27, <laughs> 25, 23. Oh. And then my minors is how old is that girl she 22 19 
13, and then my little league is 10 and 7. Wow. So, and and you got eight, and Gian, uh, Gianna, you have five, if I'm correct, right? I have five, yes, I do. Oh, Lord. Okay, so y'all, if we have any questions in here about people giving birth in the Bible, then I know y'all about to know all of these <laughs> Amen. <questions>. Amen. <laughs> This stuff. Well, thank you for being with us, Dejanine. I appreciate you. And now we're bringing to the stage. We're gonna see how many children she has. All right, but this is my dear friend who I <laughs> she's backstage. Let, let's just bring her on up. Shariah, what's going on, my friend? How many children are you adding to the panel tonight? You're hilarious. I am <laughs> happily without children. I do have a puppy though, so technically one, if we want to count. Her. Technically <laughs> one. Well, all right, all right. And we we're not expecting no uh, uh immaculate conceptions over there or nothing there, right? Hey, and so we see a ring on this finger, not, hey, not, a, there not there we go. All right. <laughs> so uh to all of my single brothers out there, uh <laughs> Shariah is well, happily not. single. Um no. so <laughs> out there. oh, so we're not single, we take it now. We are single, but we are not we're here to do Bible trivia, and that's it. <laughs> okay, so no, no, uh, we're not doing no hookups, no situationships, no none of that stuff. <laughs> no, okay, all right, we're gonna stick with it tonight then. All right, good stuff. So Shariah, tell the people a little about yourself before I do. Oh my goodness. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Shariah. As he said, I am from Oklahoma. Um, I currently live in Massachusetts. I attend Harvard Divinity School where I am studying early Christianity. Um, I'm really passionate about the Bible and just being able to talk to people about it. And so I decided to pursue my passions and go to school. So here I am. I Amen. And I gave you a chance. She, she, she's humble, y'all. Uh, uh, you know, she's not only at Harvard University, but she is the student body president of Harvard Divinity School. So my sister is doing big things and we are proud of you. And I love to big up you every time because you are doing phenomenal things for the kingdom of God. So thank you for everything that you're doing. So ladies, are y'all ready? Yes. Y'all know after hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> ready, Freddy. Ready, Freddie. All right. Good stuff. So listen, we are, all of our stuff is going to be related to either Women's Still History Month, last day, Women's History Month, and or, and or the resurrection. So we got some wonderful themes coming up. So let's go ahead and bring up our board and we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. So let me see, how do we want to decide who, you know what? Um, the person with the most children is going to um, kind of <laughs> kick us off. <laughs> you work out eight children. I think you can kind of go first on the board. Um, but first, let's go. go ahead and introduce these topics. All right. Let's introduce these topics. So number one is going to be prior to the resurrection. So this is all stuff that happened prior to the resurrection actually happening. Topic number two is who said that? These are all quotations. All right. Number three sleepers and non-sleepers, people who either went to sleep in the Bible or maybe they shouldn't have had no business <laughs> going to sleep in the Bible. All right, number four, it's Women's History Month, so we're going to talk about some notable women and some less notable women, all right? And then our final topic for the first round is going to be all kinds of villains. So these are villains in the Bible. So, Father, bless these young, these, well, these women with all of their children and their families and uh, let them do a good job on tonight. Let us have a good time in your name. All right. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Dejanine, the floor is yours. Where would you like to start us off on tonight? First, rebuking you for not saying young women with, with me in this group. Right. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. You That's know, crazy. But, <laughs> We gonna do villains, all kinds of villains. <laughs> okay, all right, I got you, I got you. So talk to me, where are we going? All kinds of villains for 300. Ooh, she going in the middle. All right, here we go. So y'all remember the rule, you cannot buzz in until the question is read. Here we go. All right, this beautiful wife of Ahab constantly influenced her husband to lead Israel into even more wickedness. Dejanine. Um, Jezebel. Jezebel? Why you say it like that? Yeah. Yeah. Some people, Jezebel, Jezebel, the answer oh, is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very okay. good start. All right. Go ahead, Dijanine. Go ahead. Uh, let's do uh, all kinds of villains for 500. I'm sorry. Say that one more time. Let's do all kinds of villains for 500. Uh, ooh, all right. Jumping straight to it. Here we go. What ruler had who had already had John the Baptist beheaded was made, was Jesus made to appear before? Gianna. Herod. Herod, that is correct. Herod Antipas, for those that want to be a little bit more, you know, technical. All right, very good. All right, the floor is yours. Let's go. 
Notable women for 100. Notable women for 100. Here we go. <laughs> Who sat at Jesus' feet while her sister kept house? Shariah. Mary. Mary, come on here, Harvard. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Everybody is on the board. All right. Let's go. All right. Come on, Shariah. Where are we going? Let's do prior to the resurrection for 100. All right. Our single sister says, when Jesus entered Jerusalem for his triumphal entry, what animal was he riding on? Shariah again. A donkey. A don you sure you don't want to cuss on Facebook? I am positive. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, good stuff. All right, here we go. Let's keep going. Let's try who said that for 100. Who said that for 100? Here we go. Even if everyone falls away because of you, I will never fall away. Mariah, who said that? Peter. That would be the apostle Peter to you, young lady. All right, very good, very good. <laughs> All right, yes, ma'am, you got a question? My buzzer, like, can I? Okay, never mind. We'll see if we don't do okay. it this time. Okay. okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, where are we going, Shirai? Let's do prior to the resurrection for 200. Prior to the resurrection for two. What is the Sunday before Easter traditionally called? All right. Shariah. Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday. That is correct. <laughs> Dejanine, you good? Is it work? It's working. Yeah, it worked. I just, okay. Yeah, All right. All right. It, it was working fine when she had to leave, but now Shariah <laughs> then came up from behind and now, you I know, see. well, Hey, we tested this before we, we got to get the buzzer game up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Soraya, she's on a roll, y'all. Let's go. Where are we going? Let's do who said that for 200. All right, here we go. Don't be afraid because I know who you are looking for, Jesus, who was crucified. A little early, Gianna. I didn't mean to do that. I, I, That's okay. I, I, I. All right, who said that, Soraya? Was it the angel at the time? That was the angel. Now, which angel was it? Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Shariah is zooming into the lead. Where are we going? Let's do prior to the resurrection for 300. All right. How many times did Peter deny Christ? Hey, Janine, there we go. Uh, three times. Three times. You can't take no more of my classes if you get that one wrong. All right. <laughs> very good. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's go to notable women for 300. Notable for 300. All right. What two women witnessed Jesus's tears over their dead brother? Gianna, I'm gonna let you have that one. Mary and Martha. Mary and Martha. All right, she like, look, I need to get in there early. I can't get in there fast enough, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the game, that's the game. All right, where are we going? Sleepers for one and Sleepers for one, here we go. Who had surgery performed on him while he was asleep and woke up with a missing rib? Janine. Adam. Adam. Very good. Very good. I keep saying Dave, but it's D. I don't want to get in trouble with nobody in your house. So D Janine, where are we going? Um, let's go to sleepers and I sleepers for 200. All right, here we go. Who slept in the bottom of a ship as it rolled in a storm? D Janine. Jesus. Negative. That one would not be Jesus. Peter? Gianna. It's not Jesus. Oh Lord. I don't know. Yeah, but that's not who he slept in the bottom of a ship as it rolled in a storm. Old Testament. Ooh. Oh, uh, Jonah. Jonah. Very good. Oh, very good. All right. There we go. All right. And where are we going next? Notable for notable women for 200. Notable women for 200. All right. And his wife falsely accused her Hebrew servant of trying to seduce and sleep with her. Dejanine. Dejanine. Uh, Potiphar's wife. That's it. That's it. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. The floor is yours, ma'am. Let's go to prior to the resurrection for 500. This is a close game. Here we go. And all right. <laughs> How many pieces of silver did Jesus betray Judas betray Jesus for? Dejanine, you a little too early. You got to follow uh -oh. the rules. Gianna. 30. 30 pieces of silver would be correct. All right. All right. I understand y'all trying to get in there fast. Let me finish oh. the question. All right. All right. Where are we going, Gianna? Uh, who said that 300? Who said that for 300? Where we go? All right. Woman, why are you crying? Who is it that you're seeking? Uriah. The angel of the tomb. Ooh, negative. That would not be the angel. Who said that? Gianna. Jesus. 
Jesus said that. That's right. He didn't know who it was at the time, but that was Jesus that said that. All right. Gianna, where are we going? Sleepers for three, please. Sleepers for three. Who slept through a haircut? Gianna. Samson. Samson. All right. She didn't come to play no games today. All right. I Eve love her. I'm sorry. Say again. I lost 500 points. Uh, did you get an answer wrong? They both lost points. I buzzed in early. You tell me you lose points for that? You buzz in yeah, early? If you buzz in early. Oh, no, that wasn't in a disclaimer, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't know that either. <laughs> okay. okay so, all right. So then this is what we'll do. So I, I will grant you your points back. Who is that? Did, did, did I take anybody else's? Soraya lost 300 too. What you mean? 400? What was it, Shirai? I want to say it's because I got a question wrong. I don't know the rules though, but so it wasn't. So again, just to just for clarity uh, and everything, if you buzz in early, we dock the points, or I I, mean, I won't dock the points, but I give it to the next person. How about that? All right. Okay. Look, that don't mean try to get in early because you ain't gonna lose no points. You know what I'm saying? Wait till I finish reading the. I know what y'all doing. I know. I know y'all <laughs> black folks. Y'all y'all trying to. <laughs> Strategically, y'all trying to strategically time when I'm gonna fin finish the question. Got to. <laughs> Got I'm, not to. I'm not mad at it. All right, all right. Um, where are we going? It's Gianna, you got the floor. Okay. All kinds of villains for one. All kinds of villains for one. Who committed the first murder? Gianna. Kane. Kane. She was in that chat, like, I can do this, and she's backing it up. She's back, back, backing it up. I all love right, you. Let's, let's keep going. Uh, can, villains for two, please. Villains for two. Here we go. What king con was constantly making oaths of love and loyalty to David while trying to kill him? Hey, Dijanine. Saul. Saul. Very good. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Long game. We got a lot of points on the board. All right. Um. So Alyssa says you didn't get your points back, but it was she. She didn't get her points back because she got the answer wrong. Um. Is that correct, Shariah? Did, did you miss it? I didn't take none. Of Yes, that's yes, true. yes. I didn't know that that's how the game goes, but yes. No, we didn't know. If, if you get the question wrong, then you you get point, you lose points. But if you, uh, I'm not going to take points from y'all if you buzz in early. Okay? I didn't know that. Got you. Thank you. All right, here we go. All right, all right. Um, where are we going? Uh, G Gianna or no? Yeah. Dijanine. Dijanine. Yeah. Notable women for 500. All right, she likes to go for them big points. All right, uh, where is that at? Notable women. All right, here we go. Which wife of Jacob died while giving birth to Benjamin? Dijanine. Rachel. Rachel, very good. All right, there we go. This is I'm talking about. Where are we going? Uh, notable women for 400. All right, and to which of the two sisters of Lazarus did Jesus say, I am the resurrection and the life? Dijanine. Mary? That would be incorrect. Ah, it's the other one. <laughs> Uh, Gianna. My sister's name is Martha. <laughs> All right. It's kind of process of elimination. Kind of hard to get that one wrong. All right. Yours floor. Floor is yours, ma'am. Who said that for four, please? And they've taken the Lord out of the tomb and we don't know where they put him. Dijanine. Mary. Mary. All right. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Very good. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep it going. Uh, prior to the resurrection for 400. All right, and which is what is the name of the Jewish feast which was being celebrated the week Christ was crucified? What's your name? Uh, the Passover. The Passover. You was a little early, so I'm going to go back to the board on that one. All right, because I'm not going to take no points. But you was too early. You was too early. All right. So uh, let's go to the next one. Who was the? It was G, was Gianna. Was that your question? Yes. No, it was okay. Dijanine's one. It was Dijanine. She um. Okay. She got that. Janine, go back to the board. Okay. Uh, let's do uh, all kinds of villains for 400. All right. All kinds. <clears throat> Who ordered the killing of infant boys in Bethlehem? Janine. Uh, King Herod. King Herod. Your buzzer working good now. Yeah. yeah, yeah your that buzzer was just one time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Keep going, sis. Where are we going? Uh, who said that for 500? All right. Here we go. I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. Gianna. Why is his name not there? Hold on. 
Oh my God. <laughs> Stop, son. My son is egging me out. I, 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 I can't. I don't know. It went away. Ah, Shariah. Is it pilot? Pilot. Conscious pilot. All right. Yeah, you needed that, my sis. There we go. All right. Where we going, Shariah? She can um, have it. Sleep. <laughs> this went my head. Here we go. Who suggested to Ahab and Jezebel's priest that maybe Baal was sleeping? Dejanine. Samson. Not Samson. Oh, my God. Shariah. I didn't mean to push that. Oh. Gianna. Elijah. Elijah. That is correct. Oh, man. That one hurt. That one hurt. <laughs> and our last question for the first round, sleepers and non-sleepers for 500. Here it is. Who slept at David's door while he was summoned home on military furlough? Dijanine. Uriah. Uriah, that would be correct. So that is the Ooh. end of our first round. Ladies, give yourselves a hand. Y'all did good. Y'all did good. All right, last week. So don't be discouraged, Uriah. Last week, Almanita was in last place. And the last became first, and she can't, ended up winning the game and everything. So the points will be doubled in the next round. So there's plenty of money on the board. So, uh, Shariah, how you feeling right now? Oh, I feel great. You feel great? Yeah. Jesus All got right. her. So we good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Dejanine, how you feeling? I feel great, but I know Soraya is taking it easy on this. I appreciate you, sis. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. And Gianna, you talked a lot of stuff, but you coming in here and you you backing it up, you know, and everything. How you feeling? We call it cash money. Cash money? We call it cash. We're talking cash money. We got to cash in. Talking, we are talking cash money because the winner is going to get $50 sent to their cash app at the close of this game. So it's, a, it's, it's not only money on the board, but it could be money in your cash app. We are here. Ooh. Great Works is here to be a blessing tonight. All right, y'all. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and we are going to introduce the topics for our second round. Again, the points. Let me go back and make sure. There we go. Now the points are doubled for our second round. And there's a lot of money left on the board. Our first topic is going to be Beyonce's Naughty Girls. We're going to talk about the Naughty Girls. All right. And then, uh, and then we're going to talk about asking all them questions. Asking all them <laughs> questions. So, not asking all them questions is asking all them questions. Y'all see how I spelled that, right? All right. right. And put some respect on my uh, spelling here. All right. In honor of the resurrection, we're going to talk about being back from the dead. These individuals came back from the dead. All right. Next one is going to be earthquakes. And then the last topic is going to be, these are my confessions in honor of Mr. Usher. Raymond oh, and his no. These are my confessions. These people made confessions in the Bible. So, Shariah, since you are in the last place, we're going to give you the first clue for our second round. The floor is yours. I do not need pity, but... That's the way it does in regular Jeopardy, too. It's not pity. That's just the rules. That is the rules. Thank you. Um, Close the door. The Naughty Girls for 200. Why are you going to start with the Naughty Girls? Okay, all right. Naughty Girls for 200. Here we go. All right. What character in the Bible wasted his money on prostitutes? Oh, Gianna. Prodigal son. The prodigal son. What's his uh, name? I don't know. We love by God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good stuff. Gianna, the floor is yours. Where are we going? Asking all them for two, please. What? Asking what? All them. Them. There we go. All right. For 200. Here we go. Am I my brother's keeper? Gianna. Kane. Kane. She ain't. No. Wait. What? Yes, you're correct. You're correct. Abel couldn't have said nothing. He was dead. He was know. dead. His blood was talking, though. <laughs> that is true. This woman know her Bible. All right, Gianna. Where are we going? Back from the dead, too. All right. What man of Bethany was raised from his tomb by Jesus? Gianna. Lazarus. She ain't even looking at the buzzer, y'all. She looking straight at the screen. Come on here. I ain't mad at you, sis. All right, Gianna, where are we going? Earthquakes, too. All right. She going left or right on us. What famous mountain smoked like a furnace and quaked greatly at the giving of the law? Dijanine. Mount Sinai? Mount Sinai. That is correct. That is correct. All right. Where are we going, Dijanine? Um, These are my confessions for a thousand. Ooh, all right. Here we go. This is a big one. 
What sneaky Israelite confessed that he had stolen goods from fallen Jericho? <laughs> Them thousand point questions got to be a little harder. I ain't losing my mind for that. She's your name. Aiken? Aiken is correct. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, Them books behind yeah. you. Good news. You go ahead with your bad self, girl. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, Dijanine, the floor is yours. Asking all them questions. Asking all them questions for how 4, much? Oh, 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 all right. Here we go. Shall I go and smite these Philistines? And hint, it was not Samson. Gianna. David. David is correct. All right. That is David. I put the scripture reference up there for you know, every week. It's always somebody trying to challenge me on here. All right. So, all right, Gianna, where are we going? Um, earthquakes for four, please. Earthquakes for four. Here we go. An earthquake at Philippi eventually led to the release of what two Christians in prison there? Come on, y'all. What is your name? Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas. There we go. There we go. All right. Look at it. The midnight hour. Come on, y'all. Y'all know this. All right. Here we go. Where are we going? Naughty girls for a thousand. Naughty girls for a thousand. All right. Here we go, y'all. What epistle warns Christians against patronizing prostitutes? Ooh, Gianna. Oh, I was going to say, it's an epistle? Okay, John. Negative. Uh, did Janine, did you buzz in? Nope. Right? <laughs> it's an epistle? Written to a group of people, not to a person. So if I get it wrong, even though I didn't buzz in, do I lose points? You, you got to buzz in. You have to buzz in to answer. Can I ask for a hint? Girl. Yeah. <laughs> it, there is more than one of these books. Oh, There's okay. More... Did, this, did this writer write like a lot of the New Testament? I Hold can't on now. That. <laughs> Either buzz in or not. Five, four, it won't wait. It three. Won't let me. It won't let me. It won't let me. Okay. All right. All right. The answer would be first Corinthians. All right. The answer would be first Corinthians. That's right. an epistle. Okay. Yes. An epistle. It, um, epistle book of the Bible. John wasn't an epistle. So you said John. So I thought it was Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Luke and John. I don't know. Those, those are your gospels. Yeah. Okay. Those Second. are the gospels. Okay. Yes, they're your gospels. All right. Next one. Um, uh, oh, it was who, who had the floor? Dijanine. Dijanine. Uh, Back from the dead, 4,000. I knew it. I knew it was coming. She don't play with them thousand ones. Here we go. A man came to life again when his body came into contact with what? The buried bones of what Old Testament prophet? Gianna. Oh. You answered too early. You answered too early, Ooh. Gianna. All right. So I'm not going to. Um, don't do I'm gonna you, I'm going to give you a thousand. I, I got to. In order to go on, I got to give it the. All right, though. All right. All right. De Dejanine, go for it. Elijah. Say it again. Oh no, Elijah. Did you the one that got or Ja? Which one? Ja. Not Shariah. Elisha. I had I, that's why I asked. I, I even gave you a chance. The one that got well, I, you no, you have to know his name. Mercy. <laughs> you you should have said okay, it's cool. It's cool. I take it on the test. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good stuff. And and thank you, my friend Siobhan. Epistles are letters. She's correct. Okay, so thank this you. Was a letter written to the Corinthian church. All right. Thank you. All right, very good. All right, um, Shariah, you back in the game? Let's go. Um, let's do. These are my confessions for two hundred. <laughs> you had to sing the song. Hey, look, look. All right. <laughs> Who confessed his denial of Jesus? Dijanine. Peter. Peter, very good. All right, easy one. Let's go. Uh, earthquakes for a thousand, please. All right, here we go. Y'all knew she was going there, right? Here we go. <laughs> what Hebrew prophet experienced an earthquake, a strong wind, and a supernatural fire all in one day? Gianna, you're too early, girl. Come on, I can't give you that. All right, where, where are your point? All right. Uh... <laughs> all right, who's next? Dijanine. Elijah. Look, you, there's no Z in this. Which one are you talking about? <laughs> uh, or J? 
Ja? Ja is correct. All right. Jesus. <laughs> She's she trying to be slick, Elijah, so she can get it right on either one. No, you got to be, you got to be Pacific, <laughs> like the ocean. All right, this stuff, Disney. All right, let's do Naughty Girls for eight hundred. Naughty Girls for eight. Who married a faithless prostitute named Gomer? Janine. Hosea. Hosea would be correct. All right, oh. all right, all right. <laughs> Shaking all right, these okay. keep it going. Back from the dead for eight hundred. Back from the dead for eight. What prophet revived the son of the Zarephath widow? Gianna. Elijah. Elijah would be correct. Very good. All right, there you go. All right, go for it. Um, asking all them questions for four. Here we go. Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? Yana. Moses. Hey, if you got that one wrong, sis, you is not coming back next week. <laughs> <laughs> Talk uh, to back, from, back from the dead for four, please. Here we go. According to Paul in 1 Corinthians 15 and 6, Jesus appeared to how many people at one time? Dijanine. 500. 500 would be correct. Very good. Very good. All right. Keep it going. Um, these are my confessions for 800. Uh, where is that at? All right, here we go. Who confessed to God that he had done wrong in taking a census of Israel? Dijanine. David. David would be correct. Y'all are doing awesome. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Keep it going. Um, asking all them questions for 800. And what will thou give me seeing I go childless? Who said this? Be Janine. Say again. Hannah. Hannah would be incorrect. Gianna. Rachel. That would be incorrect. Shariah. Is it Sarah? Oh, no. Everybody got that one wrong. It would be Abraham. Abraham oh. said, what will thou give me seeing I go child? Oh. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. I, when I looked at it, I, I was thinking it too, but, you know, but that is, it would be Abraham. All right, the floor belongs back to you, Dijanine. Um, Let's go with earthquakes for 800. Here we go. According to Matthew's gospel, an earthquake and this mysterious phenomena happen at the temple at the same time. Gianna. The tearing of the cloth. I'm gonna give it to you. The veil cut into the veil yes. cut into okay. Up now, now what which direction was the veil cut? From left from to right. From top to bottom. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. All right, keep it going, sis. Um, naughty girls naughty for girls four, please. four, please. Naughty girls for four. What king served as a judge when two prostitutes fought over a child? Dijanine. Oh my god, he had a million Solomon. Solomon would be correct. Outstanding. Y'all okay. are killing it. Good stuff. All right. Floor is yours, ma'am. Uh, these are my confessions for 400. All right. Here we go. What king confessed his adulterous affair after being confronted by the prophet Nathan? Dijanine. David. David. All right. Very good. Very good. Y'all killing it. All right. Here we go. Keep it going. Naughty girls for 600. Naughty for six. Where did the prostitute Rahab live? Dijanine? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I ain't gonna guess. I really don't have much to lose, but I'm also And the walls came tumbling. Oh, I can't buzz in. I can't oh, buzz the in. The time ran out. The time ran out on y'all. Okay. Oh, I know, be, though. It would be Jericho. <laughs> I do that. When she said the walls. Yes, ma'am. All right. The uh, Dijanine floor is still yours. Um, these are my confessions for 600. All right. And who confessed his own sin in Israel's after seeing a vision of God on the throne in the year Uzziah died? I threw in that last part just as a hint. Who confessed his own sin in Israel's after seeing a vision of God on the throne? In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and seated upon the throne, and his train filled the temple. 
I'm trying to push it. Time is out. Y'all ran out of time. Time is out. out time. All right. Oh. Who, who, uh, um. I, 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 I'm, uh, you missed it. Oh, all right. I'm not going to. All right. Next one. These means floor still yours. Um, back from the dead for 600. Here we go. What prominent leader of Israel was summoned up from the dead by a witch? These name. Samuel. Samuel would be correct. Is it huh? first Samuel or second Samuel? It's I'm joking. Samuel. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> All right, Lord, help this boy. All right, where are we going, Dijanine? Asking all them questions for 600. Now, if you'd have answered, then I really would have been worried about you. If you'd have been like, what? it was second Samuel. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we go. Who is able to judge this, thy so great a people? Who's associate? Uh, Shariah. Is it? Solomon? It is Solomon. All right. All right. Pad that ass score a little bit there, girl. Come on for Final Jeopardy. Last one is earthquakes. And here we go. Which gospel mentions an earthquake in connection with the resurrection of Jesus? Oh. Diana. Luke. Luke would be incorrect. Anybody <laughs> else? Raya. Ooh. -wee. There's that. Um, I only clicked this so the time wouldn't go out. Five seconds. Is it John? It would not be John. All right, it would be Matthew and Matthew 28 and two. Matthew 28 and two. All so right. What happens if you don't get it and um, like two people uh push the buzzer? The third person can't push the buzzer. Now, if you only have so long, the game only gives you so long to buzz in. That's why, okay. even if you, you know, so, um, but that's the, okay. that's the way that works. All right. So ladies, um, the game is not over yet. We do have final jeopardy. So, um, I need you to get a matter of fact, I need you to go ahead and I'm going to show you the topic. And then I need each one of you to send me your, um, how much you are going to wager. All right. So send me a text message with how much you're going to wager after you see what the subject or the, uh, the topic is. Okay. And let Take me pull it up for a second. I just put this in there today. Don't play with me. Oh, there it is. All right. All right. So, and all right. Don't worry about the wager on here, but you're going to be looking for the topic is three days and three nights in the Old Testament. So that is the subject. Three days and three nights in the Old Testament. So I need a text message from each of you ladies in the next 30 seconds of how much you are going to wager of your score on the topic of three days and three nights in the Old Testament. Cue the Jeopardy music. Three days and three nights in the Old Testament. All right, Dijanine, I got your wager. Gianna, I have your wager. And Shariah, I have yours. All right, outstanding. All right, so I here is, don't worry about all that. I have to do that to bring up the question, and here is the question. All right, this verse is from an Old Testament book. I need you to read it. And chat, you can answer this one too. Don't y'all look at the chat. But who in the Old Testament said he will revive us after two days and on the third day he will raise us up so we can live in his presence? Jesus was alluding to this verse when he is talking about the three days and three nights as well as the one in Jonah. How did you so want us to answer this? By telling yeah. us what prophet it came from. You don't have to know the verse and everything. Hint, hint, it is not Jonah. Do I need to all buzz know? or anything? Nope, you don't need to buzz in or anything like that. I'm going to give y'all about 30 seconds to a minute to ask yourselves the question, what prophet in the Old Testament said this? To my knowledge, it is the only other allusion to three days and three nights in the Bible in the Old Testament other than Jonah's. 
This is a good one, ain't it? This is a good one, ain't it? I ain't hear nothing in the chat. If the chat be blowing up or any other time, who said this? Who said this? In chat, don't y'all cheat either and be Googling it uh, and everything like that. Dijanine, you're going to stay inside or outside? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> like, like the old folks used to say. I just got to guess. Oh, I, and I can't let y'all. Um, so send me your answer. Send me your okay. answer. Text me your okay. answer. Okay. So we got some guesses in the chat. Uh, Rondé says Isaiah. All right. Uh, Sister Boyd over here says Daniel. She's got a question mark with that. All right. I see. Oh, I wonder who else is saying this. All right. All right. Um, Dejanine, Dejanine, I have yours. You didn't get mine? I, uh, not yet, Gianna. Yeah, I got it now. Okay. And yeah, I said, don't put it in there last week because they was playing, but I don't think none of y'all know the answer now. Uh, no, Isaiah want my guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Siobhan said, Isaiah, who else? I remember you said it during your live. That's right. I did say it, but you don't remember which one. Oh, okay. That was from the other question. Okay. All right, good stuff. And I got everybody else. Don't ask me no questions, Shariah. <laughs> Shariah asked a question. All right, so Shariah's answer was Isaiah. Isaiah would be incorrect. So uh, Shariah, wagered, Shariah wagered 700. She was smart. She went for, for it all. Um, so she will end with a zero. She ends on, uh, on you know, with a positive score. So no problem there. All right, next up was Gianna. Gianna... Uh, let me see your, she guessed Isaiah as well. And that would be incorrect as well. And so Gianna wagered all of her points again. So that would be incorrect. And last of all would be Dijanine. Dijanine, what did you guess? Hosea. You guessed Hosea. And Hosea would be absolutely correct. Yay! It would be absolutely Yay! correct. It is Hosea six and two, and Dejanine wagered two thousand dollars. So she will be our Bible Jeopardy champion on Resurrection Sunday with a final score of seven thousand seven hundred points. Congratulations, Dejanine! How do you feel? I feel good, but I know they both was being nice, and I know I won because I was going for the big ones. Because we have been going for the other ones, <laughs> so I appreciate both of y'all. <laughs> good stuff. So, um, tell us about that. Did you just where did you hear that from, uh, and everything? Because I I'm gonna be honest, I just learned this. I've been reading this book, um, called um, Body of Proof, and um, I went through it and I talked about it a little bit in class. Um, but where did you you know learn that from, Dijanine, or just going through your knowledge of the Bible? I'm absolutely like was guessing because of the fact of the prophet was one thing. And then also too, because Hosea was talking, it was talking about God's love for Israel. So I was like, maybe that's a good way of him introducing, you know, Christ on the scene. So it was a, it was a, it was a guess. Okay. okay, okay. <laughs> Gianna, how you feeling? You, you, you I'm was good. The All I'm listening. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. you how you feel? Good job. Really good job. I'm good. I'm good. happy. Good. I enjoyed it. You have a good time? I did. I can do yeah, that again. Stuff, stuff. Shariah, how you feeling over there, ma'am? I feel great. I feel, feel good. good. You have fun. Did y'all have fun? That's the most yes. important thing. Yeah. That's the most important thing. Well, good stuff. Good stuff. Listen, ladies, I absolutely loved having y'all. I think it's just a fun thing to do. Um, and I tell all of the contestants, you know, the, the y'all, the answers are really uh easy because we want the goal to be competition enhancing a little Bible knowledge and different things like that. But the goal is never to ask a bunch of difficult questions, you know, and different things like that. Now, when Damon and some of my other Bible scholarly dudes get up here, then I'm going to have to go digging for some questions that maybe I don't even know. Um, but in the meantime, we just want to kind of have it uh, to be fun and everything like that. So Rondé asked the question, this was fun, bro. Do you have to be a part of your discipleship class to do this? Um, he said, I just got on full time on my job. So I'll eventually see about joining man. I respect you as an apologist. So I wouldn't say that you have to be, but it definitely helps because if I have four or five people that want to participate, um, I try to get with people I know that that way I can make fun of them and I don't have to worry about them getting offended and then I having to repent publicly and, and stuff on and in front of people. Because, you know, folks are sensitive nowadays and everything, you know, so. But the main goal is I just think it's fun to do. So if you've taken class 
it's more because I know you and you know me. Um, so it just makes it more fun, you know, and everything like that, you know. Um, so you know, and and if you have a bunch of kids, it helps too. Um, so you know, <laughs> if your ovaries have been active, then yeah, then <laughs> good Shot stuff, fired. good stuff. Again? Yeah, Shot well, fired. yeah, that's how you got pregnant. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> yes, yes. So Shariah, tell me the highlight of your Easter Sunday today. Ooh, we the highlights. Um, I actually invited a classmate to church today, um, and he ended up getting saved. And so, hey, uh, glory to God. Hey, yeah. all right, yeah. good stuff. So, question on the floor: Would this classmate happen to be a single male? Oh Lord, have mercy. <laughs> and equally yoked. Come on now. No. You said what? We are unequally young. He just got saved. Y'all equal now. Y'all equally nope now. He's, he's on the board. He's, he's oh, just he's on you know. milk. I'm eating steak. Is it different? What? He has milk. I'm oh. on steak. We different. It's okay. Okay. We'll, we'll talk after this. We'll talk. I get the tea. <laughs> Viana, tell me what was the highlight for your resurrection Sunday? I went and saw my grandma. Oh. Um, wait, wait, wait. Say it again. I went and saw my grandma today oh, at her church. You became so. a grandma. I was going to say, listen, I wasn't trying to <laughs> prophesy no more pregnancies, but like, my God. Okay, I you went and not. saw my grandma. <laughs> yes, I went and saw my grandma. That was the highlight good of my stuff. day. Good stuff. And when you, you went and saw her where? At her church. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. And Dejanine, Dejanine, what was the, uh, you know, what was your highlight today? Um, I went down the rabbit hole of studying the three days and three nights. Uh huh. What did you come up with? What did you, what did you? I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted okay. because of the the high uh the high day, the uh -huh. two Sabbaths, and the fact that that was the time that two Sabbaths happened in one year. So did he die on um did he rise on Saturday or did he rise on Sunday? Like I'm really conflicted. Like Ooh, really we conflicted. went live, we went live talking about this last night. Did you know that? No, how do you get the notifications? Uh, I don't know. I think if you, um, there's a way like when, um, if you click on my name, um, there, I know there's a way that some people do, and I can always tell who it oh, is. On, as soon as I, live on YouTube. No, on Facebook and YouTube. Okay. I got to turn on my notifications. I don't have yeah. my notifications. Yeah. Okay. And you took the last class too. So I know the, um, last night we had a lot of people in the seven last days of, uh, saying, but I put uh, a bunch of information specifically on that topic in your slides as well. So check out the video when you get a chance. Okay, cool. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Um. Anybody else? Uh, uh, Siobhan said, why I keep trying to marry you all? Because she is a single, <laughs> eligible you. bachelorette. She's intelligent. She's attractive. And she's saved. We want to get her a good, saved, Holy Lord Ghost mercy. husband in the name of Jesus. The Bible says you have not because you ask not. So if you're single, <laughs> shoot it up. I mean, I'm sorry. Go, get in her DMs. Oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah, wow. So mercy. He <laughs> died first, though. Before you See, talk to me, um, but I have a question for you, Kevin. What was the highlight of your Sunday? What was the highlight of my Sunday? Um, watching Celeste sing um, and everything. We had some. Um, how do I put it without telling all my business? I, I just watched her pour out. I think when you, when a person can sing, um, anybody can sing when they if you gifted to sing. But like seeing someone when they're dealing with stuff and they still worship through it. Like that was dope for me, you know. Like she, she, uh, she, she, she put out there today. Um, so I love seeing her in her element doing what she does. And uh, if you go to New City Churches of, uh, you know, Facebook or YouTube, she absolutely did a phenomenal job leading worship today. Um, so just watching her in her element, I get to do my thing. Um, and she celebrates me for what I do. And so I love to celebrate her and support her. Um, when she's doing her thing, you know, um, and everything like that. So, um, so yeah. You know, um, and then she's with my mother-in-law, and I love my mother-in-law. We, we, you know, like you know, we, 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 she speaks in tongues and she interprets. So you know, I, I love. Her. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, so yeah, I, I, you know, you got You got to do it. You got to do it. I'm trying to score some points. You know, so, but <laughs> no. we, had, we had a good time. So yeah, that was. I just you know, and then so I got up this morning. I watched um, a church in North Carolina. I don't know, over World Overcomers Church. I love their one of my favorite worship leaders, Jaleesa Faye. She's a worship leader there. So I love watching their worship team. Um, and so I, I'm, I'm petty, y'all. Well, I ain't petty, but this is just my Sundays, right? So, Sorry. They don't the world know. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, the Becomers is in my city. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's got to be probably a big church from the outside too, then, huh? No, really? it's not that big. Mm -mm. Oh, well, it looks huge, and their their production is like <laughs> incredible. Um, you know, and everything. Um, I've never listened to the the pastor. I just like I like the worship team. You know, Jaleesa Faye. I just think she's a phenomenal worship leader. Um, so anyway, I watch them for what praise and worship. Then I'll go see what Forward City is doing for praise and worship. Then when I want the word, I tune in to Dr. Eric Mason. Um, I also tune into Bishop Troy Anthony Bronner in Buffalo and then um, Pastor H.B. Charles in Jacksonville. So I got to go get my word in and then listening to my pastor preach his first sermon um, since he's been consecrated as a bishop. That was dope, too. Um, so, you know. Oh, and then y'all know I wore clergy attire today for the first time in like five years. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, it's been a long time since I put on this. A long time. Um, Did you wear jewelry? No, I don't right. wear George. He's not doing that in civic attire. My pastor was on here too earlier, y'all, uh, and everything like that. So, um, but yeah, y'all ain't finna get me hemmed up because my pastor don't play. <laughs> that was one of the great things that attracted me to him. Um, my family, you know, and everything. He's a man of order, you know, um, and everything. And so, like, you know, when we walked in the house, everything was in order. You could tell that there was um excellence, you know. So he don't play, you know. So we had a really good time. So watching him preach his first sermon as a bishop you know, completely do a great job um, and everything like that. You know, I, I was really happy to see that, you know, and I love my church, you know, obviously I'm there, you know, so now, you know, anyway, I'll tell y'all about that offline, but, but the other stuff, you know, <laughs> not, not nothing negative about my church. I ain't got nothing negative to say about my church, uh, but anyway, um, so, but yeah, any other questions, ladies, any other closing remarks, any other, y'all want to be petty about anything? <laughs> y'all, I've been making fun of y'all. Thank you for letting me do this. Yeah, no problem. No problem. You came on and killed it too, sis. You are a woman of your word. So I like you already. You you good. She family now. I tell so for those of you that have never taken the classes, we kind of say one thing. It's like when you are a first time family at, at Greater Works, we say it's like when you come to the cookout and you ain't actually part of the family, but you grab a plate and act like you somebody cousin and you just join in. That's what Gianna did tonight. She just came in and just grabbed a plate, sat down and ate like she related to everybody. Uh, everybody you know, so that's how it is. So we had a good time this week. It was just a phenomenal week um, and everything. And then I had fun going live. Um, so hopefully we put this is Easter pagan stuff to bed after last night. Um, so it was a really, really good turnout. We're, we're grateful. Love y'all so much. Thank y'all. Uh, new Thanks, class ladies. will be coming up in May. Um, so stay tuned for that. And uh, we will catch y'all uh, a little bit later. Hey, y'all say goodbye to everybody. All right. Matter of fact, Shariah, would you, uh, would you close us in prayer? Absolutely. You know the rule, right? If I speak in tongues, there must be an interpreter. Or Come on must... here. There we go. All right. Go on. Go on, for, go on. Pray for us, Harvard. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, Jesus, thank you so much for this day. Um, thank you so much for seeing us as worth it and taking on um, the cross um, for each of our sins. Um, I thank you so much for technology that um, just makes it possible for us to connect um, despite where we are. Um, I pray, God, that we would um, just go into this week um, with a reminder that you got up and therefore we can too. Mm -hmm. but we're going through. Um, I thank you for each one of these ladies who are here um, just getting into their word. Um, I thank you for the opportunity and the freedom that we have to get to study your word freely here in this country. Um, I pray that we wouldn't take it for granted. Um, I pray that you would just have your way in this week. I pray that whatever prayer requests people have, um, that you would just be um, whatever they need, whoever they need, um, and that they would trust you to be that. Um, I thank you so much just for this day and what will come up this week. And I pray that you keep us until next time. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, ladies, we love y'all. Thank y'all so much love for playing. Too, bye, sure Thank you. All right. Bye. <laughs> look, look, Lavelle said, bro, I have to be on this. I'll pay. You ain't got to you ain't paid for classes, man. You good. All right. So just just show up and, and get on and do a good job. So I'll, I'll hit you up and we'll get some brothers on here next week. Y'all want to see the brothers play next week, ladies? I think we ought to get the brothers on here and everything like that. But yeah, we do gotta that. Do ladies, we got to do the ladies championship. So we got to get Dejanine, um, Almanita. And we gotta get, we gotta do one more round with the ladies. I gotta see if I can get um Tanisha to come back and defend her crown um and everything like that. And we'll close it out from there. So, but nevertheless, so we'll catch y'all uh next week. I love y'all and we'll see y'all soon. All right. Blessings. <laughs>